Hey curlers, it's me, Curls Far From Heaven, and today I just want to talk about um, proper curl care. I know a lot of girls, they twist their hair every night, they wear their hair in all kinds of styles simply because they don't know how to take care of their curls, and they really want to wear their curls out, but they really just don't know how to take care of them. Also, I know girls of other races, like I have some Caucasian friends who have curly hair as well and they blow fry and torture their hair every day and I truly believe that if all of these people can learn to take care of their curls properly that they will love them and they will never want to do anything else to their curls. Um, my channel isn't about a specific race, it's not just for black people, it's for any curly. All curls to me are the same. They need the same thing, moisture and proper care. So my channel is not limited to a specific race. Um, I want to talk about what I do in my hair. I only use conditioner on my hair only and that's why my curls thrive so well. I really believe that all a curly girl truly needs is conditioner. Keep in mind everybody's hair is different but I feel like I shouldn't have to say that in all my videos. I mean a lot of people say that on YouTube but I feel like the viewer has a personal responsibility to gauge what works for them. That's just common sense. You know, don't go run out and buy a product just because someone else said it worked for them. That's just common sense. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that. But back to what I was saying, I think conditioner is truly all a curly girl needs. Not a leave-in, just a regular conditioner. Even if it says rinse it out, you can leave it in your hair. If you have not done this, try this. It's amazing. Um, it will take some time for you to determine how much you need to leave in your hair. So you're going to have to be consistent and be experiment and play around with it. One thing that's important, some conditioners, they have something called silicone, and some don't contain silicone. Okay, I don't use shampoo on my hair, so I don't use conditioners with silicones because they have to be washed out with shampoo, and shampoo contains sulfates. And a lot of curlies probably know this, but if you knew, um, sulfates is the exact same thing that they put in dish detergent. It's the same thing that they put in acne medication. It can dry your hair out. So if you're going to use conditioners with silicones, then you will want to shampoo your hair because that's the only way that you can get rid of silicones. There are also water-soluble silicones. They can be washed out with water. Typically, a water-soluble silicone will have peg in front of it. Silicone ends in cone or it can end in um, vein, X-A-N-E, but you will have to do more research on your own. You can just go to Google and you can find a list of silicone-free conditioners and great conditioners that contain silicone. Whether or not you want to use shampoo is up to you. If you find that your hair is like really dry, then you know try not using shampoo for a month. But keep in mind, make sure that you do use a silicone-free conditioner. Otherwise, those silicones will build up on your hair and you'll have to shampoo it out and your hair may also be dry if you don't shampoo it out. But if you find that, you know, your hair is looser and wavier and it gets really greasy, then you may want to use um, a shampoo on your hair. You're just going to have to figure that part out on your own, honestly. Um, pretty much, it doesn't matter what brand of conditioner you use. For me, all conditioners work the same. They serve one primary purpose, to condition your hair. Think about it. When you shampoo your hair, right, it gets dry. And you put the shampoo, the conditioner on it, and it becomes soft. If you get a perm, a relaxer, if you color your hair, if your hair is damaged, you notice that like if your hair was damaged and you went to the salon, what do they do? They give you a protein treatment, a protein conditioner treatment, correct? If your hair is damaged, what would you do? You would get a deep conditioner, correct? Um, same as I was saying about the perms, relaxers, and hair dyes, they all come with conditioner for you to put on your hair after you dye it or whatever because it can be damaging to your hair. So think about it. Conditioner is great. I truly believe conditioner is the only thing that you need to use for moisturizer other than water. And it doesn't matter what brand you use, but all conditioners, they have different consistencies like cheaper ones like VO5. They are more watery. So they wouldn't work for my tightly curled hair. I need something that's thick or something with hold. Also, I use gel. 
So if you like to use gel and you just started using the conditioner only, you have to be aware of the fact that not all conditioners work well with gel. And I will make a separate video later if someone requests it on um, conditioners that I've used. And I can tell you um, whether or not they flake up and whether or not they work. Also, if you don't give the conditioner time to properly absorb into your hair, that also may be a reason for your hair having flakes in it. And um, the most important thing that I really want to talk about is I can't stress this enough, patience and consistency. It takes time, patience, and consistency in order for you to be able to see results in your hair. I'm consistent with my hair care. I never do anything to break my hair off. I handle my hair very delicately. Curls are delicate. I don't care if they're loose. I don't care if they're tight. Tight curls especially are fragile. Like My hair may look thick, but it's actually baby fine. So I take really good care of my hair pretty much. Um, if you saw my other videos, I'm over this term wash and go because I don't really wash and go. The only thing that I do to my hair is I deep condition, rinse it out, I detangle, and I add more conditioner as my leave-in and gel because I personally like gel, but you do not have to use gel on your hair if you do not want to. And as I'm detangling, I'm adding the conditioner, and that's the only thing that I do to my hair. It's really simple, but... It does take time and patience. A lot of times people will go to YouTube and they look at someone's video and they admire the results of their hair and they're like, okay, I'm going to try that. And they find out that it doesn't work for them. So they give up after the first try. If you want something, you have to work for it. That person that has great results, I'm sure they are consistent with their regimen. Like if you half ass do your hair, you're going to get half ass results bottom line and um, I feel like many times people they want something like they want a certain result with their hair but they don't want to do the work that goes into getting it so keep it in mind like if you want for instance if you want to wear your hair out in the wash and go but you have an attitude like oh I don't have time to do this and that to my hair it's not going to work out for you ever you have to put time and patience into your hair you have to be consistent I think a lot of the times I see this a lot on YouTube on all natural hair forums on Google everywhere. People always blame their own laziness and their own failures for someone's hair texture like oh that person has to be mixed because that style worked for them and it would never work for me. They have to be mixed. They must have good hair. They must be greasy. Throw all of that out the window.